It's a self-clamping insert. It has a dead stop, so you can gro precision groove with it again. Um, that just offers a little bit more rigidity, available normally in 2020 and 25 square shank. Um, and that's what some people prefer. It, it, sometimes it's a pre pre preference thing. So on today's Tech Corner, I'm here with Duncan from Tungoy, and we're going to be talking all things parting off and grooving tools. Now, Duncan, you brought a wide range of different parting and grooving tools. So, should we start with this one? Yeah, absolutely. Now, this is the one that most people recognise. It's commonly known as a sliding blade parting off tool. Um, it looks very similar to everybody else's tool. Historically, this style of tool, which is a self-clamped insert, has always had a problem in that the pocket will eventually spring because the insert is, the cutting forces are going in that direction, the insert's being pushed into the pocket, causes the pocket to spring. We've all had that happen to us. The <laughs> tool indexes, the insert flies off around the machine and we end up trying to part off the job with the actual blade itself, which was never meant to do that. But you've actually done something new to these, haven't yeah. you, to stop that from happening? Yeah, there's a new, new design here. What we've actually done is we've put a dead stop behind the insert. Now that's got two advantages. One, that slows down the pocket from springing. I can't say it stops it completely, but it definitely slows it down massively. So you get longer uh, life out of, your, out of your blades. But because there's a dead stop there, you know where the edge of that insert is. So it's not just for cutting off or parting off. You can groove with it as well, precision groove with it. Because sometimes, obviously with, with other parting off tools, without that dead stop, people can actually push the insert in too far, which, which obviously speeds up the, the process of of, of, the of the clamping source, yeah, that's right. But also, if you're if you're trying to groove or or anything really on a, on a lathe, if that insert's not in the same place each time, then you're you having to precision. reset your datum after yeah, every you, you change. You can't precision machine. You don't know where that insert's going to end up if there's nothing to stop the insert from sliding back. So that's why we've built that into the the sliding blade. So with that common theme, this is the next range of tool. This is the mon what's commonly known as a monoblock shank style tool. So it's a lot more rigid, um, it, it's less likely to push off, so you get flatter parting off than you might get with, say, the sliding blade system, because these tend to be hanging, people hang them out quite a way, as we all know. Oh, I've to, seen it, I've seen it. People try and get the, uh, the yeah. most out of one of them Absolutely. Tools. But it's the same common, common theme with the pocket design. It's a self-clamping insert, it has a dead stop, so you can gro precision groove with it again. Um, that just offers a little bit more rigidity, available normally in 2020 and 25 square shank, um, and that's what some people prefer. It, it, sometimes it's a pre pre preference thing, but there's a limit to what this tool will do, and that's normally the reach. See, now we're going to move on to your latest grooming tool, and I'm really excited about this because, obviously, with, with these two, you can get a little bit of, I used to call it, a little bit of walk-off, yeah. or the, obviously the strength of that, you can get... it. it you can, it's going to move. Mm. But with your next range, you've stopped 99% of that, haven't you? 99% of that. So again, the common theme, this is a self-clamping insert. It uh, has the dead stop. So again, it can be used for precision, precision grooving. But this is a tri-corner replaceable blade on a shank tool. So you get the best of both worlds. You've got three corners, as opposed to two corners that you get in the normal sliding blade. An additional corner there. You've got the, the advantage of the rigidity of the shank style tool, but look at all the support that's well, wrapped around that blade. Well, how much more rigid is that going to be compared to the other ones? The only thing I've got to do is that. Yeah, and I think what the main thing needs to be here is, obviously when you're, when you're potting off or grooving with that, there's nothing here. Yeah. So it can, you've got all this strength, yeah. so that blade cannot yeah. move. As, as we actually show in the video here, you've got that amount of support under the insert or that amount of the support under and the, the thing insert. is with this is that like you said earlier this all depends on as well as how far some people out. like to get one tool and use it for everything so that insert yeah. could be could yeah. be pretty stuck out but with that rigid enough to part off up to 120 millimeters diameter now i don't know about you but i would not like to try and catch that part me neither <laughs> <laughs> me neither but a very strong tool very rigid flat parting off because that's what you want at the end of the day you don't really want to be doing too much second up work if you can if you can prevent it so we can part off flat we can part off right to center we can handle interrupted cuts which some competitors tools don't particularly like 
uh, our tool will go right to sender on interrupted work, no problem at all. And at quite substantial feed rates, this is a strong tool. This is a rigid tool. We're talking about using a three mil parting off blade at 0.4 feed rate in steel. And I think something else we need to, we need to get across as well is because that's so sturdy and so rigid, you finish with that, it's going to be a lot better as well. It is, yeah. I've got a customer actually who get pre 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 presented me with a horrendous material recently um, and they were struggling like mad to get the, the finish and this material is very expensive and they actually wanted to move from a, uh, I think it was a four mil part off blade to a three mil tool to save on the material. Material costs, as we know, have gone through the roof. Um, so we're, we're, we're saving that customer quite a lot of money. But the, the, the side... Uh, benefit that came out of this because because our tool is so rigid the finish was substantially better they were getting less scrap components the customer wasn't rejecting so many components it's quite a difficult application so so really this is this is such a great tool it has so many benefits over the old style of tool we'll call it so if somebody wants to look into this system how would they get in contact with you get in touch with us through the website there's an inquiry form there uh, give us a call where well, uh, you know numbers on the website um, we've got a plethora of engineers out there to support the product technically um, yeah we, we'll, we'll try and get the best out of the, out of the system so that's great thank you Duncan and if you want any of the details they will be below this video so if you've had any of the problems we've spoke about today then this could be the next system for you